Daniel and Revelation by Ellen Gould White A Compilation of Her Writings To request for free the PDF file for reading, publishing, printing, sharing options, you can write Egbook Compilation at iCloud.com This book is also available in Spanish. Introduction The books of Daniel and the Revelation should be bound together and published. A few explanations of certain portions might be added, but I am not sure that these would be needed. This is the suggestion that I made to Elder Haskell, which resulted in the book he published. The need is not filled by this book. It was my idea to have the two books bound together, Revelation following Daniel, as giving fuller light on the subjects dealt with in Daniel. The object is to bring these books together, showing that they both relate to the same subjects. A message that will arouse the churches is to be proclaimed. Every effort is to be made to give the light, not only to our people, but to the world. I have been instructed that the prophecies of Daniel and the Revelation should be printed in small books, with the necessary explanations, and should be sent all over the world. Our own people need to have the light placed before them in clearer lines. The books of Daniel and the Revelation are one. One is a prophecy, the other a revelation. One a book sealed, the other a book opened. Unvarnished truth must be spoken in leaflets and pamphlets, and these must be scattered like the leaves of autumn. The printed page is therefore essential, not only in awakening them to the importance of the truth for this time, but in rooting and grounding them in the truth, and establishing them against deceptive error. Papers and books are the Lord's means of keeping the message for this time continually before the people. In enlightening and confirming souls in the truth, the publications will do a far greater work than can be accomplished by the ministry of the Word alone. The silent messengers that are placed in the homes of the people through the efforts of the canvasser will strengthen the gospel ministry in every way. For the Holy Spirit will impress minds as they read the books, just as he impresses the minds of those who listen to the preaching of the Word. The same ministry of angels attends the books that contain the truth as attends the work of the minister. God help us to be Bible students. Until you can see the reason for it yourself and it thus saith the Lord in the Scriptures, don't trust any living man to interpret the Bible for you. And when you can see this, you know it for yourself, and know it to be the truth of God. You will say, I have read it, I have seen it, and my own heart takes hold upon it, and it is the truth, God has spoken to me, from his word. Now this is what we are to be, individual Christians. We need to have an individual, personal experience. We need to be converted, as did the Jews. If you see a little light, you are not to stand back and say, I will wait until my brethren have seen it. If you do, you will go on in darkness. Links to all texts are available in the description box below.